and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my channel is all about my journey breaking into tech, specifically cybersecurity. So if that interests you, be sure to subscribe and stick around for more future videos. In this video, I'm going to be talking about my experience passing the ITIL certification. I'm going to be sharing with you the resources that I really liked using to study, what I feel like really helped me to pass, and my personal opinion on why I think it took me three tries to finally pass this certification. So as I said, this certification did take me three tries. When I looked online, I really just got mixed opinions, whether the people felt the certification was more on the easy side or more on the harder side. With anything, it really just depends on your skill set and I guess just like the way your brain works as well. I did have this class in my degree program and it was in my very first term of my degree program. And I do think that because I was still so brand new to, you know, tech testings, which to me, it does come with a certain cadence that you have to get used to. I feel like in test exams in tech, the wording, you know, you could have one word in there that completely makes the answer go like a completely different way. And so being in my first term, I was really still getting used to this. And so this test just like threw me for a whirlwind. I remember feeling super confident going into my first attempt and yeah, I missed it by one question. So my first attempt, you only have to get like a 26 out of 40 to pass, but my first attempt I got a 25. So that was just like so painful to know that I like missed it by one question, but I also wanted to do a lot better than that as well. It was also a bummer just to know that like I wasn't even coming close. So then I went in for my second attempt probably a little too soon. I was again in my first term so I was really still in like that hustle mode of wanting to like just get through all my classes and I did my second attempt just a few months later that year and so um, when I did my second attempt I actually did worse than my first attempt. I got I got a 24 out of 40, and so I missed it by two questions the second time. So after I failed it for the second time, I decided to really just set it aside. I focused on other courses. I got more of a feel for how these tech exams work. I got more of a feel for cybersecurity and tech altogether, and just got a lot more confident, I would say, in my testing skills. So when I did come back to it, I actually crushed it. So. I studied for it all over again and this time I just like took it really slow and I actually like made myself flashcards. I remember like sitting on my bed going through like all the different flashcards and just kind of doing like matching games and that too for me ended up being the method that really made everything kind of click. That's what I ultimately ended up using and passing with and my final score when I did pass was 35 out of 40 so I only missed five questions so in my opinion I actually crushed it my third try I was so excited to get that pass and actually feel like I really understood what the certification wanted me to know so going into the resources that I used um, one of them that I really liked is the idol app it is called idol for quiz and I'll put up on the screen what the app looks like. But I really liked this one because, I mean, for one, it's on your phone. You can do it literally, like, in bed. You know, you can do it if you're on, like, a bus, like, wherever you can do this. And it has sample exams, and they kind of mimic the real thing in a sense because they all are 40 questions. And so you can just go through the exam. The other thing that this app has that's really cool is that it has syllabus topics broken down into sections. So if you want to, you know, as you're learning each individual section, you can do it that way as well. So this would be like one of the main sources that I used. As far as actually studying it, I really liked um, Jason Dion's Cram Card. So I'll put that up on the screen as well. And so for this one, if you just look up Jason Dion 
idle for foundation cram card on Google. You should be able to find it. And what this is, it's, I think it's on like two sheets, but it has everything that you need to know. So this is nice too, cause you can kind of, you know, like if you're driving, if you're in the car, you can take this with you. Um, I use this um, as a resource. Okay, so, and then another resource that I did use was watching Jason Dion's course on Udemy. If you're a WGU student, you don't have to pay for this. It does come with, um, you can just log in through your organization. You'll put wgu.edu, and then you can access all, um, well, you can access this Udemy course for sure. I'm not sure about all of them. And then the last thing that I did was I uploaded all my notes to idle and if you go to my quizlet which i will link down below in the description you can actually find my notes there and when you go to print it you can choose your layout and i'll show this on screen but you can actually print it out as flashcards and i actually remember cutting each of these up individually because i was not going to mess around on my third try I you actually I actually had to pay for my third try out of pocket because you only get two tries with WGU so my third time around you know I had to pay the retake fee and I just I was not gonna miss this time and so I remember I, pr I cut out each of these um, terms and also their um, descriptions and yeah, Quizlet makes it really easy though to print out as flashcards. You do have to cut them up um, yourself, obviously, but Quizlet makes it super easy to do this. So that's my experience of getting my ITIL certification. I am interested to know if any of you have taken this test, what you thought of it. If you had a similar experience than me, definitely let me know. This is definitely an experience that I will take with me in future courses to remind myself that we might not get it the first try, we might not even get it the second try, but keep going, keep going. I will say, if I would have passed it that first try and barely made it, it's just not as gratifying than to pass the class and actually feel like you really fully grasp everything that the class, or in this instance, the certification entails. It's way more meaningful to know that I have a certification and I actually did really, really well on it. So all in all, it's okay that it took me three tries because, you know, for me, the outcome was much better. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.